hello 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 welcome aries welcome back to your channel so it's the scene tarot and welcome to my channel today we're going to do a love reading to see what's going on in your love life um with your person and what your person wants you to know um if you're new here aries remember to like the video and give this a big thumbs up if it does resonate with you but if it does not i will have a link down in the description box for you um that way if this message doesn't resonate hopefully one of those mes messages there do okay and if you're returning, Aries, welcome to your channel, you guys, and thank you so much for the support on your videos. I know I haven't been making a lot of Aries videos, so I've been pushing them out there, and you guys have been doing great. So thank you, thank you so, so much. I really appreciate it. And, you know, it's just, you guys grace my heart because I was just saying thank you for 6Ks, thank you for 5Ks, thank you for 6Ks, and now we're on our way to 7 K's, y'all. I don't believe it. Woo! I just have to like calm down, calm down, girl. Calm down. <laughs> That's what I'm saying to myself. But, anyways, guys, um, like I said, if it doesn't resonate, I'll have a link down below in the description for you. Hopefully, one of those messages do if this one does not, okay? But keep in mind, I want to point out something. If you know, I point out uh, exes coming through or what's going on. Um, you don't have to be with this person if you don't want to. You have freedom to choose, freedom of will, okay? We all do. Whatever you decide, the future shifts. The future is always changing. So remember that, okay? You don't, you're not stuck with this person. This is just the spiritual world showing us exactly what's going on at this moment, all right? All right, you guys, let's get started. Woo, Aries love lives. Angels, what's going on with Aries love life, please? What you have for Aries love life? Aries. Aries love life, angels. Ooh. All right, we have the death card here. So somebody has learned from something, okay? They have grown from something that happened to them in this situation, okay? Um, they learned their lesson in the death card, okay? That's your first card that actually popped out here, all right? So somebody learned their lesson. Let's keep going, okay? Aries, please. Aries person. What Aries person want us to know today, angels? What you have for Aries? What's coming from Aries? I have two cats, you guys. So one is being bad right now. So you might hear him crying all over the place, okay? <laughs> That's what's going on. He's He ate, but every time he eats, he's, he cries afterwards, so... You might hear him. <laughs> Aries, please. Aries, please. Aries. Yes. Aries. Angels. <sighs> Thank you, angels. Aries. Aries person, please. What messages would you like us to know? Thank you. All right. There's a lot of friction here, though, with other people I see that's getting involved in your relationship somebody has learned from something somebody's moving forward from something in a death card like I said before but then you have the five of wands where this person is saying hey there's constant fighting and bickering and uh, misunderstanding going on in this connection okay it's more than me and my person there is people trying to transpire in this connection as well and trying to make problems for us okay this is constant so i feel like somebody's not standing up for someone here okay someone is fighting the battle and somebody's not standing up so this could be your person's family your person's best friend your or your family that is trying to make issues even worse they probably think they're doing um they're they're make they're trying to defend you or trying to make things better by saying what they that's on their mind or doing things that is not appropriate in this in this connection to make issues okay they're probably thinking they're trying to they're making it better but in the long run it's actually making it worse this person is kind of feeling stuck and wants to get out of this situation okay this person is like there's no um there's no way we can move forward from this okay and i feel like someone is giving these people um 
what they what they're giving out dishing out this person here is arguing someone is arguing here with these people someone is trying very hard at first they were trying very hard to um ignore these people to avoid these people but these people were coming from coming for them okay and they were working to really hard um on their goals or just to make this relationship look perfect and burying a lot of things that was going on in this relationship i feel like this person was trying to stay private in this relationship you know but something or someone went out and told friends or family what's going on in this relationship and now i feel like your friends and family like somebody's friends and family is getting involved with this okay because the seven of wands talk about conflict with other people and the five of wands talk about conflict in your relationship and it could be more than one person involved five wands right so we have issues here all right with other people plus your person then we have the emperor here and we have the nine of pentacles someone is very single at this present time you know dealing with um the nine of pentacles in reverse and is not happy about being by themselves okay i see a a, a more mature energy coming through here i feel like someone is growing up or grown up i feel like like i said before somebody has learned from this connection so you have two energies coming through here someone is single they're not very happy nothing is going great for them they're losing everything it's like karma is getting them okay like they probably thought that you know single life was going to be best for them that they could do better but right now they're single and it's not greener on the other side okay but then we have a other energy here that is more mature is more wiser they want to you know stand up for this relationship they want to stand up for themselves period and just solve things it's not even about getting back together it's more about taking charge in this relationship um you know accepting the responsibilities of this relationship and what went wrong and what they did wrong you know understanding each side i feel like this person is ready to be successful in a committed relationship and ready to be stable because i feel like in this relationship was very unstable there was no stability here and there was no communication because of the five of wands and the seven of wands being here and look what we have the ten of cups Hmm, interested. So someone definitely is still manifesting a happy ending with this connection. Aries, they really want to be with you. Uh, they really want to be living happily, happily ever after, even though we have all these frictions coming through. Um, let's see here. But I feel like this person is like, I've learned from, I uh, learned a lot from this situation. Let's see here in the death card like they learn like they matured and blossomed from this there's a lot of um scandalous things going on that didn't have a lot of light to it um there was a lot of holes in this relationship a lot of lies a, a lot of things that didn't make sense in this relationship and this person was in the dark at one time and i feel like this person is saying hey i was blinded i couldn't make a decision i was stuck into this situation and i freed myself from this situation okay so let's keep going anything else for aries please Ooh, something flipped here. We have the Page of Wands. So somebody's going to come towards you and talk to you. Um, I feel like this is going to be... Um, there's this is going to be a person that is very passionate towards you and it's funny how it comes in the middle here because these are your main things that you need to work on for both sides you know take it as it resonates so someone needs to work with stop arguing with people stop making people get the best of them you know what i'm saying and then the other thing that you need to work on and your person need to work on is is basically how you feel about each other the page of uh wands you know there's a lot of passion here a lot of excitement once you see each other i feel like you know sometimes this person gets scared a little bit but at the same time this person is going to um talk to you and communicate with you i feel like um with this card being here uh, for some of you this person probably feel a little bit over um over challenged like someone does not make um, this person speak and this person do what they or say what they need to do and so this person gets a little bit um afraid like someone is, is saying that somebody's louder than the other like this like this person their partner is probably louder or their partner probably talk over them a lot 
there's a lot of speech speech issues here okay um like this person cannot get their two cents in like someone is always right and a relationship shouldn't be like that okay someone should always listen to the other person and you listen to them and this is why there's like a lot of conflict here then you got someone that is definitely wants to come in and balance out this relationship like i told you before there was a lot of situations in this connection that some it, this wasn't making sense this relationship wasn't making sense like someone did not know where this was going to go in the eight of swords here like they didn't know where this relationship was going to go um but yet someone is really hoping for the ten of cups with this connection you know a happy ending you're hoping hey you know i want this to work you know i hope it works so someone wants to come in and give this relationship the stability that it needs okay um this is what they're thinking this is what they want to do in the upright okay there's a decision that needs to be made i feel like this person haven't made it yet okay um there's a decision that this person wants to make about something um that is important to them okay because i feel like this person <sighs> why do i feel like this person left someone or this person ended this connection and realized that it wasn't the best Thing. like comma took them took them because we, this judgment card is all about judgment you know being judged for things that you have done and being judged for all that the decision that you have done you know and i feel like it's in the the reverse it's, you know this person is realizing this you know because they're not happy at this present time they're not so i feel like you know they're going to realize because Karma hasn't really taken them yet, but it will happen. Um, let's keep going, you guys. I'm going to use another deck to see what's going on here. Aries, please. Angels, Aries. What's going on for Aries, please? And their person. Ooh, what is this? Ooh, look at this. Yeah, this person wants a new beginning. So this is the decision that this person is trying to make, all right? This person wants to make a decision, and they have not yet made it. They know that this single life, like, I know it's karma going to take this person. Like, they're going to be like, oh, my God, I made a decision, and it wasn't the right one because the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. And they're not having a good time. They're missing this connection, right? And they want a new beginning. But they're not sure how to give this to you or, or to communicate this to you as yet. But this is what this person wants. What else, angels? What else does this person want us to know, please? In this connection. Angels. Ooh. The hermit. This person is upset. They're in their feelings right now. So they're just moving alone and doing things on their own. I feel like we have the Seven of Cups here. Somebody make a wrong decision um, in cheating on someone in a Seven of Cups. There was a lot of different people that was involved, okay? A lot of people that was involved, the Seven of Cups. This person had a lot of options. They were very overwhelmed with these options because they made wrong decisions in this connection. So some people cheated on um, someone, you know, um, was taught, was trying to play the field with more than one person here. And they were overwhelmed. And I feel like this person got caught. And here it is in the Eight of Swords that, you know, there was a lot of holes and lies in this relationship. And this is what it fell close to, you know? All right. What else, angels? What else do you want us to know about this connection? What happened with this connection, angels? Ooh, let's see here. We have the Two of Cups. Wow. So this is a strong connection. Oh, my God. This person is not only manifesting... Um, you and want to be successful with you in the seven of cups this person is actually wanting to take this relationship to the next level into a marriage when they think about you they think that you're the one for them and the two of cups is here and this is all about soulmate connection you guys all about soulmate connection uh we're not you know i'm just gonna say out there that yeah we we not all of us end up with our soulmates okay because they're the ones that hurt us the most and i always say that to people because a lot of people think once you meet your soulmate oh my god you're gonna live happily ever after but no soulmates comes in your life to teach you a lesson okay and this connection is just one of them so you know they're here and this person is manifesting you want to come back to you want to be re reunited with you they want to be successful with you they know that they have made 
a wrong move, okay? A wrong move. For some of you, this person in the Ace of Cups probably off of you their love, okay? Because the Ace of Cups is in the upright position. So let's see here. We have the Five of Pentacles. Wow, so this person left you in the cold for some of you. This person walked away from you, made you feel like nothing, used you, you know? You did a lot for this person. They took a lot from you. They didn't balance out this relationship. Oh my goodness. You know, they took a lot of your money for some of you, left you in debt. Oh my goodness. Then we have the Six of Pentacles. Yeah, look at that. Talks about, you know, not giving back to this relationship, you know? But we did see the Six of Pentacles where this person wants to come back and wants to be stable. So now I'm saying that this person has done what they have done with you, you know? They have made you feel like nothing, took all your money, didn't give back, was very selfish, and was taking more from you and not giving back anything. The Seven of Pentacles. Someone was not ready to invest in this relationship to commit in this relationship you know so treasure this relationship they wasn't ready and your last card is the page of swords you know this person is very childish for some of you they come off very energized and don't they don't know they let me see let's see like this person for some of you, is a person that seems very childish. They come off very young. They're very energized. They don't see, they they understand that when they do things wrong, but they don't dwell on it. You know what I'm saying? They're like, okay, yeah, I did that. Okay, are we going to always talk about this? Are we going to always live about this? Let's just move on. They just want to move on. They're not into, they just did it for the moment. You know, it's the moment. They didn't do it for a long-term um, situation. They... They cheated for the moment, you know, with these people. They were just enjoying their life. Some people just, you know, this is how they think. Like, they just go by. They're like, you know, I am i don't know if I'm going to be here tomorrow, so I might as well sleep with this person because I'm going to regret it or I'm going to always think about it. So they live for the moment. They don't think about other people and their feelings and, and stuff like that, even though they want they have that person that they want to stay with together for a long time. But I'm, this is what I'm getting from from that person, you know. It's for the moment. It wasn't for, like, a long-term situation, you know. But I feel like this person is a very friendly person with a lot of females or males. Um, and this person, you know, get themselves in trouble because they're not trying to cheat. But they get themselves in that situation because they're too touchy. They touch a lot. Like, I'm getting, like, this person touch a lot. Um, this person flirts a lot. Or they're just so friendly. Like, the, 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 the person that they're speaking to is thinking that they're flirting. But usually they're not. They're just that person, you know? But anyways, Aries, I'm going to leave it here. I hope it resonates. If it did, you know what to do. Like the, like the video. Give the video a big thumbs up. If it did not resonate, remember, I'll have a link in the description box for you. Hopefully, one of those messages resonate if this one does not. I love you guys. Stay positive, and I'll see you guys in your next video. Bye, guys.